Hi guys, welcome to part two of The Sims 3 Island Paradise. Um, I, sh I've been playing this game, um, on, like, for a while now. I've been doing it, probably been just like working on the resort, doing all that kind of stuff. I'll show you what I've done. So I haven't made really parts every day that I go on it, which is a bit slack, but yeah, anyway, I put in a gym, um, and I made some money from scuba diving. As you can see, they are mermaids, so I did a little bit more than I should have without doing it on camera so that you guys couldn't see it, so I apologize. But anyway, I'm here now and showing you what I've been doing. So anyway, I've got this gym, I didn't have enough money to put in a thingy, a pump iron, an iron thing, I don't know how to, what it's called, I forgot, but yeah, I put this spa in, it was quite a lot of money, but I just wanted to get the expensive one because it looks cooler. I also got this top of the line bar and there is no one there doing anything, which is annoying, but anyway, so... Um, I put some more of these tables in to up my, up my thing, <laughs> um, yeah, and should be pretty well, I think I showed you guys that one last time, but anyways, um, I put in that expensive bed, and I put that diamond in there, because I found it scuba diving, so I was just, oh my god, it's Tanzanite, I love Tanzanite, oh my gosh, that's so cool, anyways, I, um, I haven't really looked at many of the diving, well I have looked at them, but I will show you some diving spots now. So yeah, I'll just check the resort management, see how's it, how it's going. Reviews. Oh, it's three stars. Resort, but I see that over there. Oh, pretty good, getting up there, and um, hmm, I am going to go look at the other resort around here, oh here it is, and it's like an eco modern, that's the design of it, and it is really unique and different and fancy looking, it's called the Sparkling Sands. <laughs> buckling sands and it doesn't have any sand around it so I don't see oh yeah it does but it's not right on the beach like our one is so it's not as cool um but it's got like this really cool shaped swimming pool and it isn't coming up because it's being here and yeah it's got a fountain in the pool it's got a nice spa oh my god it's got a tower it's pretty cool big tower okay go down got a museum and there's a mermaid on this rock. It's like a boy with a bird on his head. That's weird. Okay anyway, there is the other resort. I'm just going to show you all the resorts around the place and just give you a little tour around the city. And there's also a Spanish one here. And it's a little, it's got a bit more colour like orange and yeah, it's, um, it's not really my style particularly. I kind of like the fancy white and greys and blues and the, and the eco-modern. And, um, yeah, here's the master bedrooms and the buffet, the buffet. And, um, go over here. And they've got a pool amazing looking pool and I've got this really superly upgraded thingy tower and then at the lobby I want to see this lobby oh that's oh, pretty sensual sensual lobby pretty cool anyway the resorts aren't really much better than our well my resort my resort 
in like see dry. I only have one of these little features, but it's out on the ocean. That's I reckon that's the coolest thing. And I like I got this bed because all the fancy resorts had it, so I just thought I might as well get it too. Anyway, she's just having some juice. Let's get on playing. And I want to go take you guys scuba diving. And that's annoying. Okay, let's see who needs. And, uh, oh, it's time to have some lettuce. Eat that lettuce. Can't hurry up. Oh my god. Come on, eat the lettuce. Mm, so turtle, so turtle. Ah. I'm worried. Don't be worried. We need to go scuba diving. Hey, well, I'm gonna get her scuba diving. I'll be right. Back. Okay, so we're heading out of the house. It's really great quality, isn't it? And um, uh, we're going on a boat to the Mermaid Grotto to go scuba diving. And the reason why she can go to all of these cool diving spots is because she has mastered scuba diving school skill skill and that's because she is a mermaid and I'll show you how to become a mermaid just quickly so you need 25,000 lifetime happiness I pretty much yeah anyway but um once you be can't you oh, it's not on here but it's in your lifetime happiness it's towards the bottom so this is just a little quick tutorial on how to get the old mermaid and you just buy it with 25,000 thingies and then you become a mermaid and it gives you this mermaidic kelp and then, it get, and then you just eat that kelp and then you become a mermaid. It takes about two hours in sim time to actually turn into a mermaid, which is just fabulous because it takes so long and it's so annoying. But you become a mermaid and that's the point of it. So yeah. Come on. Let's speed this up a little bit. Oh my god. It's a cool house. It's also a cool house. I'm just going to get her to the mermaid grotto and then come back to you. Oh my god, what the hell? Repo man, repo man. What the hell? Oh my god, the repo man is stealing stuff from our house. Stay. Stay away from my beds. Stay away. Oh no, oh. I forgot to pay the bills. No, get out of the house. Oh, you mean evil woman. She's taking... She's taking my dressing table. The bitch. Oh. Far out. Oh my god. Anyway. Oh, I'm just going to have to go scuba diving. I really wanted to show you guys scuba diving. And now I'm being repo manned. It is so annoying. It's so annoying. The last time that happened was like ages ago. I've been so busy. Just, it didn't even give me the notification of the bill paying. The Assholes. Excuse my language. Okay. So she's scuba diving. And that's her tail. That's her tail. How cool. And then we're underwater. Isn't this fun? Isn't this fun and cool? I know. Okay. Oh, the treasure chest has already been opened. I went and opened it yesterday. But anyway, that's what it looks like. And um, there's that mermaid thing from the museum. Anyway, that's one of the dive spots. Super cool. And you can go around um, collecting shells. Well, not shells. There's like seashells, but they're kind of hard to find. But they're considered not a rare find, which is just dandy. And yeah. So where is she? And she, you will run out of breath. If you are just a normal sim, not a mermaid, and you're just scuba diving casually, you will run out of breath and then you'll, you could die, so I recommend returning to the surface, but you'll probably figure that out once you actually play the game. So I'm going to return to the surface, 
and I'm gonna go to a different place. I'll be right back. Well, I'm at Pearl's Deep, and I'm just going to go dive underwater. And there's a little boy, boy. I know how to say that. <laughs> um. But anyway, there's it. Well, how do they get that in their sh Oh yeah, they use the testing cheats and able to buy the buy the bug cheat to get that into their shell. I did not find down there, that looks pretty fun. Can't be bothered though. Okay, let's try and find some treasure chest. Chests. Score some treasure. That was weird. Oh, there's one. All exciting. And there's a jellyfish. I'm gonna catch that jellyfish and open that chest and get some money to pay back that dresser that was stolen by the freaking repo man. That stupid repo man. So annoyed. Okay. Doesn't it take a long time? Oh! A squid worth $537? Oh, yay! Yay, now we can afford to go and buy some stuff for the resort. Woo! Yay! Okay, now open the chest, woman. Hurry up! Okay, I love taking photos. Oh, I'm gonna be honest with you. That's just photo number. Oh, yay. $5,000? Oh, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. And we've got five large crystal ball cut rainbow gem. Oh, yay, I love rainbow gem. A pluton emerald gnome ruby yellow sapphire. We've got so much money right now. We could just go and buy stuff at the resort. So, yeah, I'm going to pause this up and then... So now that we've seen the whole scuba diving experience, yeah, um, so this is just, you can explore and there's more than one treasure chest in some oceans, and yeah, what the hell is that? That will be worth some money. Eels are worth money. Little tip for you, little tip. Okay, I'm going to pause this and get on to the resort, be right back. I just... I just found an eel worth eight hundred dollars. That is a great thing. That's a great thing. I'm very pleased right now. Anyway, um, since we've got money, we can buy some stuff at the gym because I just checked the resort reviews, and people are annoyed because it's a big disappointment. So we're gonna have to do a little something about that, won't we? Okay, so I'm just gonna get a the exercise queen so that they can pump the old iron yeah mm -hmm. the iron okay i'll get another one of these since it's such a disappointment that we even have a gym at all so yeah um i've got this now and it's pretty good and now we've spent half of our money on that, but we can sell that eel, which is pretty awesome. It's awesome. So, yeah. Yeah. Yep. Okay. And that is pretty fabulous. Hi, guys. I, I'll show you what I just did. It took me a little while, like half an hour to do this. I made another cabin. So yeah, it doesn't have the tanzanite crystal there, but I can just put one of these there. And yeah, it's pretty good. And um, I just duplicated that one. And yeah, I, um, I changed up the lobby a bit, making it look a little bit more spiffy. You may wonder where I got all the money. I got it all from that rainbow gem. The rainbow gem was like um, about a couple grand. So I got quite a bit of money out of that. Um, so yeah, it's pretty good. And um, I upgraded the resort a little bit so it looks better. And I really hope you guys enjoyed the video. Like, comment, subscribe. Keep on liking for more videos. I really enjoyed making this video with you guys. Um, and yeah. See you soon. And yeah. 
I will post another video of Hidden Islands. Exciting. See ya. Happy swimming.